So uh, our lab focuses on uh, trying to understand how natural killer cells work mm -hmm. and then ultimately trying to uh, implement that knowledge in clinical trials for patients with cancer. And uh, antibodies, I would say, that's our pri primary tool to, uh, you know, first of all, identify the NK cells and subsets thereof, and uh, also, of course, to monitor their, their function. And one of the main challenges, I would say, in, in the lab to, to keep control of all the reagents we use, not only for antibodies, but specifically for antibodies, it's, it, it's, uh, it's a great challenge. So we spend lots of time uh, month, uh, almost years, to establish working panels that we can trust. The whole field is, is uh, uh, suffering from poor specificity of antibodies. Uh, many antibodies react to multiple targets. Uh, there is uh, sort of non-specific binding to FC receptors on, on cells in your uh, that, that you're uh, trying to stain. Uh, and actually during my PhD uh, back in the late 90s I had a major struggle trying to uh, monitor the express, expression of HLA-G because it was extremely, the antibody was, was extremely uh, non-specific. Recombinant antibody technologies allows for more predictable um, production I guess of the antibodies and, and uh, also by allowing to engineer the antibodies for reduced uh, binding to FC receptors, for example, you can reduce uh, um, background noise and non-specific binding. And that's what we have seen in initial testing. So I think that's a, that's a development that we are welcoming very much. Yeah.